Hi there Pisces, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay Pisces, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Pisces please? The past energy for Pisces. The past energy for Pisces. The past energy for Pisces. Pisces. Okay, so the past energy for Pisces, please. Pisces. The Queen of Cups in reverse, okay. The Two of Cups, interesting. And the Fool, and the present energy for Pisces. The sun, you could have been dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, could have been another water sign. But the present energy for Pisces, please. The present energy for Pisces. The eight of cups in reverse. Pisces. The lovers, wow. And the future energy? The queen of pentacles. The high priestess. The future energy for Pisces, please. The nine of swords in reverse. And the overall energy of the reading? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is quite interesting. I feel like you and a specific person are not together in the 3D. Sorry about that. Um, so even though I feel like you are dealing with a very special connection, there could have been issues with being emotionally vulnerable, okay? Um, so maybe this person had difficulty doing so, like expressing their emotions. Even though I feel like you were dealing with a very special connection and there was a potential for a brand new beginning, you may have very well pulled your cup back, okay? Maybe you weren't feeling as open. But again, when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. As for the present energy, I feel like you could be going through positive changes. And I do see the lovers here. So I feel like there is someone that's not really detaching emotionally or walking away. I see like a lot of positive changes and you're showing up as a queen of pentacles. So you're someone that's very loving, very nurturing, very dependable. You could be very self-focused, focused on your independence and taking great care of yourself. And this couldn't be you like listening to your intuition here. So I don't see you kind of overthinking, which is awesome. Like you're trying not to overthink maybe or not trying to get stuck up in your headspace. So I feel like you are listening to your intuition, but let me clarify. This could also be someone having to listen to their intuition. So if you're dealing with someone where there is a disconnect and the both of you are not together. So let me see. Let me clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. For the overall energy for Pisces, please. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. What's this? The Hangman. With strength. Interesting. And the King of Wands in reverse. I feel like there's someone that's not really being expressive about their feelings here. Um, even though you do share a strong bond with this person, 
or they could feel quite strongly towards you. And I feel like they're trying to gain some sort of enlightenment here. They're trying to look at things from various perspectives. It's possible that they have gained some sort of enlightenment, but let me get one more card. But they're not being expressive. You could be dealing with a fire sign. There you go, the Six of Cups in reverse. So it seems like there is a disconnect between you and a specific person. So let me clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse for the past. For Pisces, please. The Queen of Cups in reverse. The Page of Swords. Oh boy, the Knight of Wands. And the Six of Wands, it just seems like there was someone that wanted a reconciliation. They had a lot of passion towards you. They wanted there to be forward momentum. They wanted to communicate, but they could have had issues with being emotionally vulnerable with the Queen of Cups in reverse. So let me clarify the Two of Cups in reverse. Uh, the Two of Cups in the upright, sorry. This chair is making a funny sound. And the Page of Wands in reverse. So there may have not even been communication or effective communication. And there you go, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, but you're showing up in the upright. So you're very charming, attractive, charismatic, confident. Someone finds you to be quite attractive. So there is passion here, but they're not expressing it. And just as I said it, not really expressing it, not really taking action. So let me clarify the fool judgment. This could be talking about like a fated encounter. So it seems like there was this potential for a brand new beginning and someone did not take the initiative towards it. And just as I said at the Knight of Pentacles showed up in reverse. I feel like someone had to make a profound and important choice and they didn't take the initiative to, even though this brand new beginning was available and there was passion and a desire to move forward. So let me clarify the sun for the present energy. So there may have not have been effective communication or communication at all, okay? The star, the sun and the star, and the queen of pentacles twice, and the page of pentacles. Okay, so I do see you going through the healing process, possibly trying to remain balanced. This couldn't be you going through positive changes, wanting to remain hopeful. Again, the queen of pentacles is someone that's very loving, very nurturing, very dependable. You could be very self-focused. You could actually be doing quite well here. And with the page of pentacles, you could be this could even be talking about something new, but let's see. Let me clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse. You could also be very cautious with your energy. And there you go. I do see a brand new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there is someone that's thinking about you, but it just seems like you could be going through positive changes. Eight of Pentacles. There's someone that's wanting to swiftly communicate. And they are thinking about you. So there is a potential for a brand new opportunity. Okay. I feel like something could also be going um, pretty well when it comes to your finances. Okay. So that's one element. So let me clarify the lovers. Oh boy, so there is someone that has a lot of love for you with the King of Cups, okay? But it's like, um, this is so interesting, 3-8, so 8 could be a significant number. I feel like there is someone that's wanting to communicate, but there could be a lot of overthinking, even fear-based thoughts. That's why um, a fear of being rejected or left out in the cold here. They feel like the both of you share a strong bond, so there is love here. So I see the main issue here as being like emotional expression or emotional vulnerability. So let me clarify the Queen of Pentacles. 
And there you go. And that's why the Ace of Cups is showing up in reverse. So someone could very well have fears. And it's next to the Eight of Swords. And that tends to be self-imposed. Like a lot of overthinking. Sometimes unnecessary. And there you go. The Seven of Cups and the Hermit. So I see you kind of focusing on yourself, doing some inner work, possibly even healing, looking at your options, possibly on... So it could be options in regards to your career. Anything, really. So I feel like you are listening to your intuition. You possibly have a deep sense of awareness. But... Um, the sun... And the Fool again. <laughs> so I do see a brand new beginning here. The Fool showing up twice. So this is up to you whether you want to keep your heart space open or you're in the phase of healing. Okay, because I feel like you do have options. So let me clarify. And I feel like there can be positive changes. So this could even be advice for you to kind of listen to your intuition. And I do see the potential for a brand new beginning. But the Four of Wands is showing up in reverse here. So let me clarify the Nine of Swords in reverse before I say anything else. The Two of Pentacles. I feel like there is someone that's weighing their options and trying to figure out what to do here. Since I feel like there is someone that has a lot of uh, love for you, but there could be fears surrounding that, like possibly in regards to expression. This couldn't be you having to weigh your options and possibly <clears throat> make a choice. However, I feel like, oh boy, the 10 of pentacles in reverse. This is so interesting. Twice. And the magician. I feel like there is someone that's wanting to manifest this connection into the 3D, okay? So the actual physical element, but this is like them having to get out of their headspace, having to overcome any sort of fears, possibly to even overcome any pain. So right now I feel like there is a lack of stability, okay? So I feel like there is someone that's weighing their options and possibly having to make a choice here. Or like trying to figure out what to do. So let me get further insight from the intimate tarot for um, Pisces, please. Pisces. Pisces. Okay. Pisces. The hangman, twice. So it seems like there is someone that's trying to gain some sort of enlightenment or they have already gained. So there is a potential for stability with the four of wands, okay? Judgment, twice. So somebody having to make a profound choice. This is really talking about like a fated encounter. And there is someone that's wanting to be expressive, but they may not be quite satisfied with what they have to say. So this is really talking about like, and they are doing some deep introspective thinking and self-reflection here. Um, with the hermit, this couldn't be you healing something within your heart space, or this person has to heal something within their heart space. And with the five of pentacles, there could very well be fears here, fear of being left out in the cold. Um, so let me get another card, and then I'm going to pull out an oracle. And there you go. So it seems like there is someone that's wanting to rush in. There is a lot of passion here, okay? Um, so, what's the message for Pisces from the Oracle deck? It's you are limitless. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose, okay? That's a positive message. Card number four, one more. It's um, spend quality time together, listen and talk to each other. So there has to be communication, openness, emotional vulnerability, right? On both sides. I feel like there is someone that desires to manifest this connection into the 3D here. So let me get... Messages from the Romance Angel deck for Pisces, please. Pisces. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay. You 
might even in, um, apply it to someone new or just, you know, so it doesn't always have to be someone from the past or flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Specifically, if the both of you are to spend quality time together. And there you go. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. So that's a pretty, it's not a bad reading. It's, I actually like it. There are some issues at hand, but I really do like the messages from the romance angel deck. All right, Pisces. So that's my reading for you and I'll see you next time. Take care now.